Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pamera tribe, who are currently stranded on an unexpected island. So, as you guys saw last time, we have actually um, ended up completely lost on an island that we were not aiming for. We were trying to make our way over to the jungle so that we could start exploring the jungle and some of its features, but we ended up crash landing on this island instead. And actually, a lot of you guys have pointed out that this island is a particularly useful one because we are not very strong and what really drove home the fact that we probably would have been immediately slaughtered on the jungle island is the fact that we had a predator pop up over here and he dealt I Luvon who happens to be the most desirable male with his amazing genetics in the entire tribe a pretty severe blow. I Luvon is very close to death and he would possibly die if it were not for the sake of this um handy dandy nifty little healing plant that we just ate and I was really shocked at how easy it was for just a normal predator to come in and just start laying waste to our tribe. So we are going to be spending a little bit more time very strictly focusing on genetics. We're not going to spend a lot of time fiddling about with the different creatures. We're going to sort them into very strict groups and I'm going to think that that's actually Jagar's idea. He has this vision, he has this idea of the tribe needing to move on to a new land, but bumping into that predator as they were on their travels helped him realize that they're not particularly strong just yet. Maybe we could tie in the fact that he perhaps opened up a clam when he was a young prince back at the royal nursery of the Garden Isle, and he foresaw a future of tall towers towering trees and vibrant colorful plants that his tribe needed to take part in, but um, he realized when that predator came that we're just not strong enough to survive that yet. So we are focusing right now on entirely trying to beef up our strength, putting in the claw, putting in the spiky body. I'm going to be throwing in, I mean, we could put in big body for strength too, but I like the fact that spikiness does damage. And so we're going to leave that in there and we're going to focus on getting really strong creatures. And then we're going to peck away at the rest of our family tree and figure out what we need in order to have the fast creatures. We actually do have a couple deer, as I like to call them, already in the tribe, and they are the ones that have the double um, double deer paw, like this one right over here. Mamimi over here has the double deer paw where she has these velvet paws. She's supposed to be really, really stealthy. She has plus two lean body, uh, plus three velvet paw, plus three velvet paw. I'm not sure exactly how much stealth helps her. I think that stealth is great for what they call the hearing apes. Apparently there's three different types of apes and they all have different strengths. And the more I learned about the apes, even though I've never seen them or run into them myself, and I haven't watched anybody's like jungle let's play yet because I want to like experience it on my own. But the more I hear about them from you guys, the more they seem to be super powerful and you can only outrun them for so long. It seemed to be the bottom line. So having stronger creatures is probably definitely going to help us. We're going to start separating our tribe into a group that's probably going to focus on trying to have really, really strong babies and a group that's going to focus on just kind of keeping the other good traits, the fast traits, the deer-like traits, all of those things alive as well. And we also have to watch out for that bird who is circling overhead for the abundance of babies that we have been having. But I think that this is also a semi-safe new land, so Jagar would be okay with perhaps escorting some members of the tribe that we may not want to kind of keep around with their genetics, like hemophilia and swimming tail, and the fact that she has a beak, um, we might we might actually let certain members of the tribe kind of go and find a new home elsewhere. So I think we're actually going to start that early on, on like releasing little Mies here. I'm going to have Kokora go ahead and we're going to say that we're not banishing Mies. She's already just a juvenile and she's ready to explore this new island on her own. And we're going to go ahead and send her on and just kind of weed through our genetics a lot stricter like that. Like I might see little Russie here. She's really interesting because she has seven on the stealth. That's pretty awesome. What was this like eight stealth? Hmm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But she's pretty awesome. Um, in the, in, uh, come on, Russie. In just the fact that she has that velvet paw, the double velvet paw, but I don't think we want the melanism. A lot of you guys are saying melanism, super, super bad to take to the island. So we'll keep an eye on her, but we're going to start releasing the creatures who just maybe may not contribute in the long run a lot earlier than we used to. 
Uh, and that's just to try to keep things moving. So enough talking if I want to keep things moving. Let's go ahead and see what our three pregnant mamas have this time. And the answer is... Dun dun dun! Um, a falling apart nest. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We've got Kiranu, yes, and he's got Claw, introducing Claw in a healthy body into the family. He's got attack three off the bat, so that may help us a little bit. Down here, we have a Larini. That's more like it. Now we're talking. We're starting to see attack four, so we really need to keep pulling that up a little bit more. Maybe if we had um, like double Claw, that would really help out. Oh, darn it, she has hemophilia. But maybe if we had like double claw and maybe if we had the stinky tail so that she wasn't really like that enticing And maybe if we had the spiky body that would even help us out a little bit more So does she just have normal body? Yeah, if we had spiky body in there, then that may help us out and then over here We have little Cory. Dang it. And see, we're ending up with some some normal creatures too, which aren't really going to help us. All right, and Milako, we're trying to have Milako have lots and lots of babies because she actually has immunity D and her mate is actually Jagar up there. So I'm gonna send her up to Jakar. And let's see. They can go ahead and get ready to have another child. Jagar is kind of keeping an eye on everybody up here. Yes, Kirtha can help out with collecting that because he's got nimble fingers. So let me snag some of my nimble finger babies who aren't really helping elsewhere and keep an eye out. Gotta watch out, watch out for oh, Pop Kokora back over here. Gotta keep an eye out for that hawk, but it seems to be gone for now. And then Anasi, she may be useful because she has that big body and we can combine that with uh, like the claw. So Anasi can go over to help out with under that tree. And then Nukoto, He's just got great hind legs. Like, we have really great creatures, but we just don't have very strong ones. So I guess we need to just work on strength for a little while. All right, Cory, you have normal body. Uh, who could you be a good mate with? She could actually be a good mate with him. So I'm going to go ahead and have her just straight up make a nest. We're not really wasting time this time. We're, we're making this happen. I move on is one of the most desirable males. Uh, he could have some of the most healthy children, so we have been breeding him quite a bit, but he seems to be passing his swimming tail along, and that's not something we want. All right, and then apparently we were injured. I didn't notice. So Nukir, uh, maybe I can push him. Oh, dang it, that's a rock. Push him around, look for, look for new plants. All right. Yeah, I think our genetics are already just kind of a mess, so the best I can do is just kind of work with what we have and see what we end up with as a result. All right, I might have Sissy just go ahead and recollect this nest. And then we'll send her over here because there's enough females to keep an eye on all of them. Uh, is Rico might be able to pass on her spiky body and we might be able to breed her with the little guy who has claw. They're a little bit close on genetics, but I really do need to get that claw and the spiky body combined. And we should have something pretty good once we're done. All right, we'll move her over here. And then Reno, uh, Runuro may make a really great mate for Mimimi because he happens to have Stinky Tail. She has Stinky Tail Recessive. Um, she has big nose and lean body. And they've got some velvet paw between them, so they may be able to have those fast children that we're going for. I feel like we probably had a really, really great nest, like a really, really great lineup of creatures that we were working with before. But uh, we just, we just have to, we just have to have stronger creatures. I'm so sorry. I feel so disappointed. I feel like everything just went completely downhill. But I just need to perk back up, and we just need to work on breeding really powerful, strong creatures. And hopefully that'll work out. All right, what about over here? Oh, Vanku, look at him. He's attractive, I like him. And as soon as we have a couple good defenders with those big, beautiful, oh, look at that. Speaking of big and beautiful, let's go ahead and snag that meat right there from that bunny. But yeah, as soon as we have a few good defenders, <gasps> Lois, I love you, if only you had some coloring. Yes, and she carries recessive, um, fluffy tail, perfect. Okay, so this is more what I'm talking about. Now, if only she had ram horn, but she has spiky body and she has claw, so she's got four, and if she had ram horn and another claw, then I guess she would have five. I think you have to have like five or six attack before you can start doing any damage. I'm so stressed. 
<laughs> is it obvious? Because everybody keeps telling me like, do this, do this, do this, or else you aren't going to survive. So that's why as soon as we have somebody who's really kind of got up there in the five-ish attack, what else would I, how else would I be able to get enough attack? Now that I think about it, because she has four attack, and so she would have to have another claw, and she would have to have ram horns to have six attack. Wow. All right, so I guess we're just kind of like holding out for the best of the best defender is what we're doing. And the moment we have a super strong defender like that is, all right, and we'll go ahead. She can become pregnant, jump into there. But the moment we have a super strong defender is when we will just collect up whoever is left and we will hop to the next nest. All right, thank you. Dear Duke, and until then, wow, look at him. See, there's a few really powerful kids being born in this in this tribe, so it'll be worth it. We'll get there. All right, and we'll go ahead and collect up the nuts that are all over the place and all of the other food. Um, is Rico, can you crack? Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's a there's a leech. Run away, is Rico. I don't want you to get leeched. All right, and then we also have Ricola. So let's see. I move on. Are you a good mate for down here? Who would be? Let's see. Nukir would be a good choice for coming over here and possibly mating with. So we'll jump up here. We will go ahead and have these two start having babies. We'll repair this nest. We will have this little baby wiggle this way so she's still diagonal to an adult. All right, we're gonna have to keep an eye on, on this group right over here. You would go closer to an adult too. There we go. And Kokora, let's see, who would you be good to mate with? Kokora would be good to mate with Iluvon. So I will have her zip up there and they can have a baby. And then she can get into this nest and hopefully have the baby right there. Oh, yeah, guys, I just feel like I have to apologize 800 times over because we were on track for being able to go to the island and I feel like I let you all down but at the same time half of you are like Siri you would have just died anyway so we're just going to try to make the best of it and I won't take much longer than like today and maybe tomorrow to try to help them figure out how to have all the healthy babies they possibly can all right and there we go because we're making pretty good progress only only about 10 minutes in and we've already got like a bazillion babies all right come on healthy babies please please Okay, so we have our little lice, and we know that she mutated in a gene, so I guess we need to find- where's that little male? Here he is, Kirinu, who had uh, a little bit of strength too, and maybe with their powers combined, we might be able to get, like, double claw. So Kirinu, you and her are gonna go over here and kind of stay near one another. Are you a rogue male? You are not invited. Like, seriously, no! Seriously. You're so not invited. I don't think you understand the desperation, the level of desperation, sir. I, Isla, you're a female. Why did you move over there? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Ravon Von? Get him. Destroy him. Oh my gosh. Remember when I said everything is kind of going absolutely redonkulous? <laughs> I is like can't even like attack. Oh my gosh, and Sissy is being Sissy is being surrounded. Yeah, this is what I meant by everything's going bonkers. Okay, deep breath, Siri. I got this. Oh, this guy died. Whew. All right, we've got this. It's all in good fun. Okay, so we have a rogue male wandering on the edges. Thankfully, we have a healthy female over here. Look at her. She's got the D immunity gene, so we have spread the D immunity gene across quite a few of our creatures now. There are nasty rogue males lurking. We need to keep an eye out for them. Larimi is quite strong. I really love her, and she's got four strength, so if we can just get that like spiky body on her or another child that possibly has more claw. So I'm going to move her over to our claw group and we're gonna have like our little attack group over here that's gonna be this little group and then I Isla I'm gonna go ahead and let her try to have this awful baby that she just got pregnant with and we'll try to like get rid of it somehow scurry it away well uh, I shouldn't say that I never say the awful baby you know what I mean I just can already hear all of the people yelling in the comments oh Siri you're having a hard day I'm sorry guys I'll perk up all right you sir are not invited <laughs> to this party, okay? Sissy, become pregnant, like ASAP. Thank goodness. All right, 
and then we'll get rid of him. Okay, I've got this. I've got this. Sorry, guys. All right. So we're going to isolate our little strongman group by pulling them all maybe over here so I can keep a good eye on them. And then as time goes on, we will be sure to give them, like uh, the Izriko here, we will be sure to give them a little bit of priority and try to make sure that their children are going to be really powerful. They're going to be at least six attackers. And how many spots do we have on the jungle tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think we're going to take six defenders to be really, really, really on the defense and make sure that we can have lots and lots of defender babies to keep a constant supply of fighters just born right off the bat. And then we will have um, four fast collectors who can kind of be like the plan B, run away sort of group uh, in case we need to initiate plan B and frantically run away for our lives. All right, let's gather up these nuts. There we go. Nice bit of food. Everybody is helping out. Everybody is gathering. Aw, oh, see, this is okay. And then we have Mamimi, who we do need to move her into being our super fast group. So we need to find her a good mate. So Mamimi needs another mate who has Velvet Paw. Maybe Vanku? They're a little bit closely related down there. But we'll look for, oh, look at this. This little guy. He may be perfect. He's got big body, but she could possibly balance that out. So maybe we'll move her down here in a minute. Hmm. She can she can work on collecting up some of the grass and some of the berries for now. Um, but Ravanku actually is a deer creature, and I think if we focus on having some of those deer creatures with really great stealth. And I like the fact that he has a little bit of defense in case he ran across a normal predator. Yeah, we've got this. <sighs> All right. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry if I was in a little bit of a mood. I just have been... We've been having the usual, like, fussiness in the niche comments about, like, where things are going and um, whether or not the breeding is going in the right direction. And, I mean, even when it's going good... The truth of the matter is there's always an element of randomness that we absolutely can't control to niche as well. And like this rogue guy who just showed up. And that always adds in just a little extra element that you can have trouble controlling. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. La Siri is a beautiful little girl, by the way. I really love her look. So we are gonna have a good time with at least having some beautiful, healthy children here. Kirita can help out by kicking this tree and we can collect lots of acorns from it and we'll get there We're going to get rid of this um this interloper He is not he's not welcome in our tribe and we are going to start isolating these spiky creatures and the clawed creatures and having a good strong group that we can send to the next island. Oh, look at that. I'm so proud of you. Another one, you guys. Yes. Here, Duke Duke here has been born with both of the traits that we were looking for. And he has venomous fangs. Nice. <gasps> yes, you guys. Yes, we might be able to go next time. I'm so happy. <laughs> I am so happy. Okay, this probably one's for the best after all. Because we have the ram horns. We have spiky body. The only other thing we need is possibly to have some claw. And maybe we could just go ahead now that I think about it. And yeah, she's not having that. Get away from her. Yeah, you need to leave. Everybody, everybody is ready to chase this guy out. Yeah, no, you're not welcome here, buddy. You're not allowed to like get some of my females pregnant anymore. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I think that was like trial by bones. <laughs> they just proved they're they're pretty tough. And in fact, you guys, I feel I feel much better now. Because maybe we can just pick some of these ones to send, like Istrico here. She might be able to go. She's got the distasteful look, distasteful appearance, spiky body. She'll be able to take like Kirnu or even this awesome guy down here, Kier Duke Duke, as a mate. And we can give him a new name and send him on to the next island. And we've got um, like Rovan Von here is pretty amazing with his like fast speed. So we can send him as well. I think this will work out. Yeah, all right. I think we'll be able to handle this. I'm sorry I was in a little bit of a tiff. It's just so stressful when you can't control some of the things. And our niche group, a lot of you guys are amazing. And sometimes a lot of you guys can be very, very insistent that I should have done it one way 
when story or just sometimes luck or just sometimes it's hard to keep track of so many creatures made it go another way. So I apologize for my mood today. I am going to perk myself up. We are going to pick out our new defenders and our newly born fast speedy children. We're going to make sure we don't send over anybody who's a little bit too delicate and dainty. And we will be sending our group to the next island hopefully next time. We might even try sending over like mostly brand new young adults and just crossing our pause that it'll it'll all work out but i think it'll be okay also holy moly this guy is so pretty <gasps> look at him oh my gosh i think he's the new high prince pretty sure pretty darn sure because his dad is the one and only jagar and i think this is going to be uh kunar there we go and i think he is going to be um the new leader he's got he's got vision he's got dreams of the future if only he had a fluffy tail all right, guys, so slowly but surely we're getting there a lot more slowly than I wanted. But like I said, I'll, I'll do some jumping jacks. I'll shake it off. And the next time we come back, we will start picking out the best of the kids that we've got, like here, Duke Duke here, and we'll send them on over and we'll make sure that they can start having some babies first thing so that hopefully we'll be able to survive the jungle. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.